First tied in 1958 by Frank Sawyer, the pheasant tail nymph is one of the most common and most successful fly patterns around. There are countless variations out there, but today we're going to tie one of my favorites, the CDC pheasant tail nymph. Start by mashing the barber view hook. Here I'm using a size 10 Mustad 3906 and a 1 8 inch or 3.2 millimeter tungsten bead in a copper color. Add your olive colored thread of choice to the hook and cut off its tag end. For the tail and body, we're going to use pheasant tail dyed in golden olive. Take about 5 or 6 fibers off the stem and measure them to be about the same length as the hook shank. Tie the fibers in just above the point of the hook with the tips facing out to form the tail. Bring your thread back to the bed of the hook and cut off the excess pheasant tail. Next we're going to add our small ultra wire. And since we're using an olive dyed pheasant tail feather, I like to add some more color here by using chartreuse. Cinch the ultra wire onto your hook and then take another clump of pheasant tail fibers and tie them in, tips first, onto the top of your hook. Depending on your hook shank and fiber length, you might get away using the same tail fibers, but here I needed more. Now do a whip finish to lock everything in place so you can get your thread onto the bobbin holder and out of the way. Using the rotary function of your vise will allow you to quickly wrap the feathers around the shank of the hook in nice, even wraps. When you reach the bead, take your thread and wrap it over the fibers a couple times, and then cut off the extra fibers close. You can wrap the thread a few more times to keep the feathers nice and secure. Next, counter wrap the ultra wire around the pheasant tails to add some stability to the fibers. While I give this ultra wire the old wrap why not hit the subscribe button so you can see more tutorials like this one and stay on top of our monthly giveaways. Once you get the ultra wire to the front of the pheasant tail, right behind the bead, wrap your thread behind the wire a couple times, then in front of it a couple times before bending or breaking it off. Next comes the fun part, adding the CDC collar. Make sure you use the longer feathers, not the shorter puffs. I'm using light dun CDC, but any natural color will work well. To make the collar, you can use a few different methods. Here I'm going to take the feather and put it into a Petajan Magic Tool table clamp. This allows you to get the most barbules from the feather. Instead of just one side, you can get both sides. Transfer the barbules over to a clamp and cut off the stem. The next step is to take a bodkin and split the thread so you can insert the CDC feathers between strands. Give the bobbin a nice spin to lock them in place. Then wrap the feathers behind the bead, pulling the fibers back as you wrap. Once you get all of the feather onto the hook, it's time to do a whip finish, and then cut off your thread. Last, add a drop of head cement and you're done. And that's the CDC Pheasant Tail Nymph, my favorite variation of a classic.